And now, presenting the Paddle with Purpose Award, please welcome to the stage the first blind person to paddle the entire Grand Canyon, U.S. Navy veteran Lonnie Bedwell. There's a microphone up here somewhere. There it is. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Paddle with a Purpose Award. You know, it's being awarded to an organization that reaches out above themselves to help others. I, uh, I started my paddling with the winner of this award last year, Team River Runner, which uh, their mantra is uh, health and healing through paddle sports. And I got started to get blind veterans, or blind veterans, disabled veterans out on the water kayaking at Walter Reed. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, quite an organization, you know. When, they, uh, when I got to do, uh, go uh, in 2012, the first time I paddled with them. And 14 days of whitewater experience later, they decided to take me down the Grand Canyon for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I remember uh, the guy told me, he said, uh, eh, you'll... Uh, Joe told me, he said, be prepared to uh, swim a lot and be prepared to, uh, uh, you know, take the raft through a lot of the rapids. Well, uh, two swims and uh, every rapid, we did it. Well, hey, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I want you guys to take a look at the uh, nominees for this year. Paddle with Purpose. Inner City Kids Kayaking Camp. We are getting ready to do Jesse Stone's Inner City Kids Camp. Working with New York's Graham Wyndham School, Jesse Stone and Jackson Kayak connect professional kayakers with children from large cities to introduce them to the sport of kayaking and the wider world of the outdoors. Juanito de Ogarde Memorial Scholarship. Big smile, Juanito smile, man. <laughs> <laughs> Honoring the memory of the late Juan Antonio de Ugarte Burbank by annually funding the advancement of a Peruvian youth's paddling skills, starting with enrollment in the Ottawa Kayak School's Keeners program. Kayak for Safe Passage Kids. So I want to kayak from my home in Maine to their home in Guatemala. Deb Walters kayak solo from Maine to the southern tip of Florida, then sailed to Central America where she helped fund a grade school for children living in a garbage dump community in Guatemala City. Nepal Kayak Club. There was a couple very old people who could not walk down. I was just trying to see how we can help them. With a team of search and rescue personnel, medics and Nepali river guides, the Nepal Kayak Club brought critically needed earthquake relief to areas inaccessible to first responders. Paddle to DC. Dave and Amy Freeman spent 100 days canoeing the 2,000 miles between Minnesota and Washington, D.C., gathering petition signatures to deliver a message about the dangers of sulfide mining in the Boundary Waters. Yeah, yeah. It's there again, there. Yeah. Okay, so now, the winner is, hmm. This braille is in Spanish. I can't read Spanish. <laughs> the winner is the Nepal Kayak Club. Woo! There was a couple very old people who could not walk down. We're just trying to see how we can help them. Thank you so much for this nomination and the award. 
I've been told that I have to do most of the speaking. So here we go. Um, Nepal Kayak Club is really just the club to bring Nepalese, um, young Nepalese women and, and uh, girls and boys into the river and get them into kayaks and raft guides and rafting. And when this earthquake happened, we shifted our gears because everybody in Nepal had to shift their gears. And um, something that was really unique and that we noticed right at the start is that as athletes and adventurers and people in the outdoors, something that we're good at is just acting, just doing and not thinking too much about all the complications and all the political issues. And so we rallied and I was here in the US, I was kind of the coordinator of whatever they needed, I would try and figure it out. Oh, you need doctors. Okay, let me try and find doctors to team up with the kayakers, or you need you know, tents, or whatever was needed. And then um, we had Ong and Anup. Anup is the founder of Nepal Kayak Club, who teamed together, and what started as a really very small group became this really massive grassroots network of paragliders and mountain guides and river people who just had the skills of knowing how to maneuver the outdoors, which anybody who's been to Nepal, if, if you can you know, climb a mountain, you can get to a lot of places in Nepal. If you can kayak a river, you can get to places that are inaccessible. And without knowing what we were doing, really, other than our select skills, you know, having a mountain guide or people search and rescue, um, we weren't relief workers, and we became relief workers overnight. And we ended up leading helicopter evacuations, teaming up with doctors from all over the world. Um, and to this day, there's still this grassroots network of young athletes who have mobilized in Nepal. And not a lot of people know about it because it never made it to the mass media. But it's, in my opinion, some of the best relief work that happened in Nepal was from athletes and adventurers, which is pretty unique. And Ang was in Nepal, um, so I want him to speak <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> he, was, he was one of the, there was kind of, with Nepal Kaya Club, we had two or three main team leaders, and Ang is a master. He was one of the main ones. Thank you, 007 Copter. That's her name given during the rescue period or the relief. And um, thank you all for voting Nepal Kaya Club. I was just up on Rainier last night. You yeah, came back down at about 10 in Seattle, and I'm here today. And um, this is my first thing up here, and I'm a bit shaky. <laughs> I've never spoken so many, in front of so many people before, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, um, to tell you, my, uh, I'm Ang, I'm a mountain guide back home, and also I'm an instructor for Alexio Childbirth Foundation. We have a school called KCC, Kumbu Climbing School, and I have a few friends up there and my instructors, my mentors, Brandon, Phil, Steve, Kevin, everybody down there. I want to thank you for who's given me the skills that I know right now. And that's what I passed down to the river rats back home in Nepal. You know? <laughs> Thank you all for, and now I'm, they have taken me under their wings. And yeah, and that's right now, um, like, white water is coming up in Nepal. Um, I'm, I'm a mountain guide. I just learned swimming in 2012 <laughs> after I, to tell you, uh, I have very good teachers out here in America. I thank them all. Uh, my river guru, who's a doctor up in Lander, he's taken me first rafting on the Green River on the Deso for a week. Then after that, he taught me how to oar a boat, and he said, Ang, you're a good fit for doing a Grand Canyon. And then in 2002, I hit the Grand Canyon, and then I didn't know how to swim. <laughs> Yeah, um, 
Um, now I know how to swim. <laughs> and I'm going to back up. Um, anyways, I wish I had my friends up here, uh, the Nepal Kayak Clubs guys. And um, thank you all for helping in one way or the other in times of difficult, like, you know, what, during times when we are in deep shit <laughs> after the earthquake. And uh, uh, Nepal Kayak Club is now helping build schools. We have stopped doing evacuations and all the stuff after it's done. And to tell you, in one of the evacuations, we have helped a little kid. She was buried under rubble for 32 hours. And uh, a lot of heli, it was, it was like, um, I mean, I was there. And to tell you again, like when the earthquake happened, I was rowing a boat. Like uh, I was a safety, uh, I was in the safety craft on Tirsuli River, which is just a small river, like, I mean, um, with 30 Bangladesh Army officers, like, taking down the river. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, we've seen a lot of people lost their life, lose their life and all. Uh, sad moment, but, like, I mean, hikers have done a great job. Um, I was, Anup was here to receive this instead of me, you know and the other river rats. Now to tell you, if you ever go back to Nepal, you will see the river, river rats doing heli marshalling and all the stuff up on cornfields on the terraces in Nepal, in the Himalayas. So they are well trained now. Um, so I would like to dedicate this to our, one of the young pilots who helped us um, rescue a lot of people from the mountains. And um, He's with us no more. He, he crashed in one of their rescue missions, caught up in a wire. And he's no other than Subek Sresta for mountain helicopters. Yeah. Thank you all. That's what I've got to say.